Steve Hay. This is a wonderful world of woodworking for Carbotech. And today I thought we'd cover some hand plane. Okay, so planes really haven't changed for many, many years. This one, which I hope this is where well, you go. This one I have dated at around 1860, 1870. It's a Matheson, it was made in Glasgow. What they call a jointing, a, a trying plane, or a, what's the other word for it? A jointer. And the reason for that is it's for jointing boards. When you join a board, it's basically getting two boards and shooting them so they're flat. So when you join them together, they're gonna to line up and be square and you can get a good uh, glue joint. Now this, as I said, what's that, 130, 140, 150, there you go, it's nearly 150, 160 years old. And I bought that for $40 and spent a bit of time on it, doing it up. And it is as good as the day it was made. It's mostly better than the day it was made because, because it's got a sharper blade on it. I'll just shoot one bit so you can see it. I use this a lot when um, I am roughing boards down and it's amazing how quickly I can chomp through timber when I'm using it. So I'm hoping it's set. There you go. You can see that thickness of that shaving coming off. And I'm getting a really nice shaving. So that is a jointer plane or a triplane. And basically in the new um, planes, well when I say new planes, you've got Stanley make the Leonard Bailey style of plan. I think that came in, I'm not exactly sure of the date, but I think it was the latter half of the 19th century, the 1800s. So with a Stanley from a number eight, this actually isn't a Stanley, it's a Lee Nelson, but it's a number eight, through to the number six. So these would be classed as jointing planes or shooting planes. And they're for getting nice straight edges when you join boards together. This is a five. Now this one uh, is called a corrugated plane. And I don't think they're made anymore. But the reason for the corrugations were if you had really greasy timber or, or sticky timber, sappy timber, maybe like teak or um, spotted gum, or uh, maybe even a bit of green timber. Not that I would like to put a plane over green timber. But these are called jack planes. Colloquially, jack meant shortened version. So jack planes basically are jointers or trying planes, but the shorter versions of them. Down the track, it's sort of got uh, changed to instead of being short a jack plane became a jack of all trades planes and so these were very very popular they're not as bulky as the tries or the the jointers and depending on the size of the job you're doing you could get away quite nicely with these then they, they built another one which actually went into the schools if you have my vintage you would definitely remember them. That's a five and a quarter. And they were very, very popular for uh, schools in the education system back in the 60s and maybe a little bit into the early 70s. And they were known as junior jacks or school planes. Then you've got the number four, which I've got one here, but I don't use it as a number four. I use this as um, a hogging plane, which I'll explain later on. And the number four was meant to be able to do most of those jobs all these other ones could do. 
And I think the other reason a lot of people like them is because there are so many of them around. I think every dad, uh, definitely up into the mid-70s, had one of these in the workshop. Whether or not they could use it, whether or not it was sharp, whether or not it was set, is a different kettle of fish. But number fours, they are everywhere. In fact, I've got a box over there and I've got 34 number fours in there, uh, along with some other planes. Because they were popular and great DIY plane, absolutely fantastic. That's why they were around, they are a good DIY plane. Fantastic, if you're just doing a bit of outdoor furniture or you're just fitting a door jam or you've got to trim a door off or something, number fours come into their own. Yes, definitely, a good plane to have. If you want to get into serious woodworking, there are better choices. Then we go down to number threes. Okay, that's the Stanley, that's the Lee Nelson. Much the same. It is for smoothing and finishing jobs off. They have a narrower blade. The number three and the five and a quarter have the same blade width. The number four, number five have um, the same blade width as each other. Then the five and a half, the six and the seven have the same blade width. And then the eight has a wider one. And I used to know, used to know what their sizes were, but over time I've forgotten. Um, so they're bench planes. 